Hey guys, Mrs. Gouch here. I'm going to show you now how to create your very own uh, YouTube intro using Keynote. Um, I will do some other videos showing you how to add special effects and also how to create one in iMovie, but this is the simplest um, way to do your intro. To begin with, you do need to open up Keynote, and here I'm going to go ahead and start out with um, the wide layout. Don't do standard because it'll kind of make it shaped like a box. Wide is what you want because that's exactly at the, the dimensions that your videos are on YouTube. I would choose either black or white. All of these are really pretty, but they're not going to per really pertain to what you're doing. Um, so I'll choose white here, and it'll go ahead and set it up. And I like to zoom out just so I can get an idea. And there's a couple things that I do. I actually change the master. I always make sure that it's blank to start out with a clean slate here. And the good thing is, is because you already have it at widescreen, you don't need to change the size. You see my slide sides there. But if you were at standard, you would do it um, over here where it says document or settings, depending on what um, iOS system you're using. So either Mavericks or uh, Yosemite. So. First things I wanted to show you guys um, a couple of tricks. You want to make sure that you have imported your colors that you put on your layout, on your branding layout, into Keynote so they're already saved there. And there's actually a really neat way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Color Lovers. So let's say I have my colors here. You can do something really neat where I can just take a screenshot of this. So I'm going to pick these colors right here. And then I'm going to go into Keynote. And here I want my background to be a particular color. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the color fill. And there is an option where you can go here where it says a little picture. You can actually import in um, a screenshot. So I don't think this is on my clipboard. I'm going to go new from file because I know that it's on my screen, on my desktop. And here it is. And it will import it in, and it actually, you can choose what color you'd want this to be. Another thing that you can do is you can actually save the colors. So here, do you see when I click on each little box, the color comes up down here? So I'm just going to go ahead and drag these colors into my little palette down here and save them all so I don't need to keep going back and downloading them. We're changing the hex value. It's a really neat way to do it. All right, so have that all set there. And now I can go between the colors. Um, I think for the most part, sticking with kind of a pale background is the way to go. So I have my colors here. And now I do know that I want to start setting up um, where my things go and animate them. I'll begin with a... Uh, my image, my, my icon. So I went on Icon Monster, and you guys have some of your icons saved. You can drag them from the branding layout, but here I went ahead and made a new one. And there's some effects that you could actually do. You can give it that shadow effect. It actually looks really cool. Um, make it a little bit more mad. could have a reflection. I'm going to stick with the shadow one. I think it just looks cool. And um, so you can make whatever size you want. And actually, I might just make it the, I can do the whole size. And you can give it uh, your animation. That's what's going to make it come alive. So to animate it, you would go here. And then you would have to build in an effect, OK? So I'll add my effect, and it'll let you preview it. I can do a fade and scale. Um, I can also do, there's some really cool ones. There's like a fireworks one. There's sparkle. Ooh, that has a lot of flash. Um, you can just appear, dissolve. Um, for me, I really like the fade and scale. It's always really worked well. So here you can do that. And do you see how long it lasts? 2.5 seconds or almost three seconds? That's way too long. I want it to last barely anything, maybe that much, like half a second. Because your YouTube intro can be no longer than three seconds. And so you have to make sure to really consolidate for time. So here I have this. And now I'm going to put in my text. So I'll enter my text box. And I'm going to just title. Oh, I want to make sure that I have my the correct font, which I knew was Babus, because that's what I had on my branding layout. 
and I'm just going to type in SAS video production. And this is where you can have fun with it with the colors that you want. I usually try to adjust my size before anything. Make sure it's all highlighted before I adjust the size. Yeah, I can go a little bit bigger. That fits perfectly. And then this is where you can, I can change the colors. So I do have them saved already, which is the best part. And I can see what works well. That's way too dope. I think I'm going to stick with that kind of purple color. That was a really nice one. So there you go. So I have this here. If I wanted to, um, I could add more. But I'm just going to stick with a very simple idea. So remember, you also, whatever object you put in, you actually have to animate it. So I'll go back to animate. I'll add an effect. Um, I can do the typewriter, where it kind of shows up like this. Um, a fly in. That yeah, looks kind of cool. No. There can be a wipe. I'm telling you, you can be lost in this forever. So I did actually, was it the move in? All right, we'll stick with uh, the ones that Mrs. Gatch totally forgot about now. There we go, the fly in. Now, I can ask where I want to fly in. It can fly in from the bottom right. It can fly in from anywhere. And you can do it all at once, or you can even do it by paragraph, meaning that it'll go by each line. So if you wanted to see what that looked like, I could see that it takes a little bit too long. So I think I'm just going to do this all together. And I'm just going to have it fly in from just from the right. So I'll preview it. And it only lasts a second. I can also see my build order. What do I want first? Do I want my words to come in or do I want the icon to come in first? And then you can preview all of it and see what it looks like. But I think it's good to go. Now, granted, I hope you take more time on your intro, but this is just a simple, basic tour of it. So now that I'm finished, what I need to do is I will go File, Export to QuickTime. It's going to make it into a movie. Then it's going to ask you some questions. It's going to say playback. You always want it to be self-playing. It doesn't really matter what your next slide is because you really only have it on one slide. So I always put it to one. And I also put go to the next build after one second. Because you remember, it's only a three second video. You want everything to be as compressed as possible. And so you can keep it at 720p or you can do at 180. I'll keep it at 720 because that works best with like your iPhone, your iPad and whatnot. So I'll hit next. It takes no time at all, so I'm actually going to title it intro. I had made another one that was not as great. It'll create your movie. And then there it is. If you want to preview your film, you're going to have to go into wherever you saved it and actually watch it. So I'm going to open and watch this with my QuickTime player. And I see that it's six seconds, so that's a good thing to know, so we can trim it up. All right, there's a lot of ways that you can trim this. Clearly, blowing up this image was not a good idea, not a big deal. So to trim, it's really easy. You can trim within QuickTime. You don't even have to do it in iMovie. You can just do Command-T. So I'm going to cut out where it's white here, but I want to make sure I have this dude coming in. And then at the very end, that SAS video production deal is up for a long time. So I can have it for about that much, trim it, and then I see here now, look how last long it lasts, three seconds. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and save this once again. I'll save it on my desktop, and I'll call it intro. And let's go ahead and put it on our YouTube. So here, this is my personal YouTube. Let me go ahead and put it on our school YouTube. So you have to go to your YouTube page. Before you make it your intro, you clearly have to upload it. So I'll go to Upload. And it doesn't matter if it's public or unlisted, really. Um, just make sure that you have it there. So let's go ahead. I was back on my desktop. And it'll take two seconds because it's a three second video. And then where you go to make it your intro is your Creator Studio. So I'll click on my cute little face there. And I'll go to Creator Studio. And where you want to go is where it says Channel. And then you will go to Branding. 
And here you will add a branding intro, okay? Now, it's gonna find the videos that are less than three seconds. So I had one here that I made in my last class, and then now I have this one here. So I'll select my intro, it hasn't finished processing. I'll hit save and then update. So you can decide when, I can put it on all uploads or all uploads after the, or uploads like after this day today. So I'll hit update. And then now, anytime a video plays on, anytime you watch a video from my website, it will automatically show this. So if I can just go to my channel, Um, and I play a video, usually what should happen is that the intro will play before the film. It takes a while to process, but once you have it, it works out pretty well. Um, if you wanted to see another intro that I had here, super quick. There it is, ta-da, SAS Video Production. So you can really have a lot of fun with your films. Um, when you are done, you do have to post your video on your blog and kind of write about your experience, but that will happen on later after Chinese New Year. Uh, if you want to see how to add sound effects to your movie intro, YouTube intro using iMovie, go ahead and click on the annotation and it will take you there. Good luck.